This is Kat's Diamond Painting. Welcome to my channel or welcome back if you've joined me here before. I am here today with another Black Friday sneak peek for Diamond Art Club. This one arrived to me a little late to get the video up in time for the preview on Diamond Art Club social media and I have been champing at the bit to get into it because it is so adorable. So I have here Breakfast Nook by Abraham Hunter. And Abraham Hunter has to be one of my favorite artists that Diamond Art Club offers. The combination of his just like really beautiful, different landscapes, you know, they're all quite different to each other, different colors, different themes, that kind of thing. And then his beautiful animal artwork. It's just, yeah, it's, it's my jam. I really, really enjoy it. So this one is 76 by 55.8 centimeters, if I've read that correctly, upside down from across the table. <laughs> and as I said, this one will be releasing on Black Friday. Diamond Art Club is bringing out 100 new releases to thoroughly, thoroughly spoil us this Black Friday. Um, and if you're interested in buying this or any of the others that you'll be seeing floating around on social media this week, the release times are as follows. For general release, um, you are gonna be looking at 7 a.m. Pacific time on Black Friday the 24th, 10 a.m. Eastern time or 3 p.m. UK time, if you're in my part of the world. Of course, if you're in a different part of the world, you can plug one of those into Google and ask what the time is in your time zone and that will sort you out. Um, there are also some lovely people putting together collages in Diamond Art Club's VIP Facebook group. So if you don't already follow the Julia Catherine collages um, sort of Facebook name as they post in there and they have put a link on there to um, some gadget that will do that for you as well, that will work out the different time zones. So that's always helpful. If you are a Diamond member of Diamond Art Club's rewards tier structure, so not Ruby this time, unfortunately, um, you get early access. If you are in the Pacific time zone, that means you actually get to kick off on Thursday the 23rd, um, and that's at 9 p.m. Yeah, just had to check my notes, 9 p.m. Pacific time, 12 a.m. Eastern time, and if you're in the UK like me, it's an early start for us. It's 5 a.m. This, this year. Um, so I don't know about you, but I will be setting an alarm. <laughs> I'm certainly not generally up at that time. Oh, it's so adorable. I can't wait to have a look at this. Okay, I'm going in. So, in a Diamond Art Club kit, you will get, as well as, obviously, the actual painting, which I'll get to in a bit, um, a little sticker. I personally use these to go on the side of the box for how I store them. Other people use them to go in a log book, to label their storage containers, anything you like. It's just handy to have. And then I have a toolkit. So all the, um, I keep going to say ingredients when I look at toolkits. This is the second time I've tried to say that and I've had to catch myself. And then I've told you about it anyway, so I may as well have just said it and had you laugh at me. <laughs> The contents, um, so tweezers are the only thing that's gonna vary from round to square kits. This is a square kit, so I do have them. If this was a round kit, they would not be included. Let's take a peek at what I got this time to show you what sort of things you can expect, because there's a lot of elements of the toolkit that do vary from one kit to another. First up, there is a little roll of baggies. People use these for kitting up or kitting down or just because they're generally useful to have around. You will get a pen and matching comfort grip. Colors will vary. Here are the aforementioned tweezers. They are branded, if, if my camera will ever focus. And they have this cover on them um, because they are pretty sharp. So make sure you keep them covered up. Actually, this pair are a little blunter than most, but they can be super sharp and not something that you want to drop on yourself. You will get two multi-placers. These are the thin plastic ones that I find very useful um, so that you get a seven placer and a four placer in every kit, which is very generous. You get a cover minder. The design will vary. Even if you buy this exact same kit, it's very likely you'll get a different one. So this is a little macaron. <laughs> These have been around since the start of, of them bringing out cover minders. They're quite popular, I think. 
Um, so it has a little magnet on the back if you're not sure what this is. I will now explain. <laughs> so basically you put the little magnet on the back of your canvas, you put the top section with also a magnet over the plastic cover um, where you want to hold the plastic cover out of your way while you're done painting. And as you can see, they will connect through the canvas and hold the plastic cover out of the way for you. Then you have a little pot with two plates of Diamond Art Club's heart-shaped pink wax. Make sure you remove the plastic cover when you're using this. Um, but yeah, that's a good generous amount that will get most people, I would think, through a painting. Oops, can't get the lid on. You get a roll of washi tape. Again, the design will vary. Even if you buy this exact same kit, it's quite likely you'll get a different one. And people use this for all sorts of things. A lot of people just like to collect it, frankly. That's what I do a lot of the time. I also use it to help secure my paintings to my light pad if they're smaller than the light pad and I can't clip them easily. Um, but mostly I would say people use it for going around the edges of their painting where the glue extends beyond the painting area to protect it from fluff and pet hair and that kind of thing. Or they use it to section up their painting by putting this over the top of their clear plastic cover just to make their painting into nice neat sections. Okay, I'm gonna put all of these, oh no I'm not because I have gone to show you the tray. So <laughs> here is the tray that you get. Um, it's a decent size for a kind of toolkit freebie tray and it comes with a stopper as well. This one's got a bit jammed in the wrong direction, but basically that's going to mean that if you've got drills in your tray and you're shaking it around, they're a bit less likely to fall out. I also personally often hold my trays at a slight angle when I'm diamond painting, just because of how my wrist feels comfortable. So that stopper means that they're less likely to slide out. Now I will put them away. You can tell I'm overexcited, can't you? <laughs> Okay, moving on to the canvas. Your canvas will come in a branded dust cover bag, really useful for keeping it neat and tidy while you store it. I personally, once I've taken a look at my kits, roll them up and put them back in this and then back in the box exactly as they came. And I find that to be a good way to store them. Um, but if you don't have the space to do that, storing it just in the dust cover, maybe using that little sticker for labelling it could be a good option. Um, and some people even keep their canvases and drill separately, but I digress. This is a really nice, strokably soft canvas. Um, it's called tarpaulin, the, the sort of fabric that they use for their canvases. And no one else is doing it quite like this. It is a really, really nice canvas to work on and adds a touch of luxury, I think. So inside the canvas you will get a thank you for your purchase leaflet, really useful to go through particularly if you're a first timer because you get things like tips and tricks, you get uh, the how to diamond paint, you get links to their social media and you also get discount codes such as this 20% off your first purchase through the app. Um, I do have some discount codes in the description box below such as a 20% off your first purchase anywhere <laughs> code, um, which you are welcome to use. But for Black Friday, the chances are, based on previous experiences, that Diamond Art Club will be giving us a better discount code than 20% off. I don't know, but yeah, the past couple of years would suggest there'll be something, something nicer to, to treat us with this Friday. Here is my sticker sheet and the artwork, isn't it adorable? Oh, I have a poor track record for identifying animals, as anyone who's watched some of my previous <laughs> Richard Lorenz um, unboxings will, will be able to attest to, but I, I these are chipmunk, chipmunks, right? I'm not going mad, they have to be chipmunks. <laughs> I don't think we have chipmunks in the UK, in my defence, but yeah, they are absolutely stinking adorable. <laughs> And the little ladybirds, I've only just noticed those. And these lovely lilac-y flowers. It's, oh, it's a gorgeous colour palette, I think, this one. Because the problem with nature paintings, well, problem depending on how you perceive these things. For me personally, because they often have a lot of browns and greys and things, I can get just a little bit bored. But this one is going to have all these blues and pinks and purples and greens as well to offset that. And I think that's going to be gorgeous. 
And this whole thing is a sticker, so you can put this in your logbook or on your storage pots or whatever you want to do with it. And on this side, there are individual sticky labels for your storage pots. Um, I have got 62 colours in this painting. Um, so yeah, pretty decent for the size of the painting. And I have got three AB drills, which are Aurora Borealis drills with an extra special glitzy coating. I will show you those in a moment. And at the bottom, I've got two fairy dust drills, which also have a, a glitzy coating, but it's, it's a bit less glitzy. It's a glitter effect and it's a bit more muted and just really, really delicate and lovely. So I will show you all of those in a moment. In fact, I'm gonna go right in now and look at the drills and I'm going to save the canvas this time. So the drills will come neatly rolled up in a bag with a label. So again, if you've got too many paintings for your storage space, one thing that some people do is store all of the drills in one place and the canvas is rolled up together. And that's how you'll know what they go with. <laughs> Here they are. Oh, lovely colour palette here. Lots of browns and greens and earthy colours, but then look at all those pops of purple coming through it. Purple is one of my absolute favourite colours, so yeah, I really love that. Okay. Right, let's take a look. So, Looks like I've picked up the bigger bags of drills for this because Diamond Art Club does arrange their drills by size of bag rather than um, DMC code. So yeah, one bag of 413, one bag of 159, lovely blue colour, one bag of 414 and three bags of 6021. So yeah, there is going to be a fair amount of grey in this painting, I think. Um, a colour that appears a lot in nature, so it makes sense. I wonder if there'll also be some in that background to help it tone in with the, the kind of the nature side of the painting, as it were. Hmm, we shall see. Two bags of 3042. That's a really nice shade of purple. I like that a lot. It's got a sort of grey tone to it, hasn't it? 647 and 156. Oops, I got twisted. One bag of 938, very dark brown, and then two bags of 898, and then moving on to two bags of 839, which is a very, very similar colour. But that's what you get with a painting of the kind of quality that Diamond Art Club offers. You will get colours that are very, very similar to each other, and you almost wonder what's the point. But the point is that it gives you this amazing depth of shading and just really brings the picture to light. Also means if you mess up and place one where you're meant to place the other, no one's ever going to know. <laughs> I speak from experience. Right, 318. Two bags of 3022. 611 and 317. So definitely more shades of grey than I was maybe expecting. Although I'm notoriously bad at anticipating these things. 317 and two bags of 415, two bags of 451, 646, 3861 and 210, one of those lovely pops of colour, 3772, 3781 and 209, another beautiful purple shade. 3799, 3064, 3371, which is a very dark brown, if you can't tell. My lighting is not ideal today because it's a very dim day, but this is my day for filming, so we're working with it. 3790, 841, 645, 610. Ah, here is a fairy dust drill. So you can see straight away actually, this is a, a good colour for picking it out. You can see how that's catching the light more because of those glittery tops. See how close I can bring it before it loses focus. Aren't those super, super pretty? That's a really nice shade for it as well. And then 632 on the end there. And 
I've got 105. I love, love, love brown ABs. I don't know what it is about them. They have a sort of pinky coating because some ABs the coating will match the base color. Quite often it contrasts. So these are more of a pink than a brown, but obviously with a brown undertone. They're just so lovely. 3818, 407, 3782, continuing with all these earthy colors here. 842, 937, 434, 437, 3032, 435, 168, 3776. Gosh, there's hardly any of some of these colors. 471, 3721, 648, Z977. So the other fairy dust drill. Let's see if I can get that to show for you yet. Isn't it lovely? I love these. I think they're my favorite type of drills. 3052, 817, 498, and 3831. Hardly any of those. And then my last strip of drills. Which way round am I going? Sorry about all the rattling noises, by the way. I think I just did that far too close to the microphone and probably took your ears off. I might have to do some editing. Right, three, three, four, five, one, two, six. Oh, I don't think I've ever worked with that AB before and it is lovely. Gorgeous. Look at those sort of kind of bluey tones coming through in the coating. Eight, four, four. 433, 208, gorgeous, 469, 108, another new to me AB. I'm loving these slightly more muted colours actually, just because it's a change. I, I go for bright colours generally, but I also like to have a change in, in painting. And once in a while, it's lovely to do a colour palette that's just got that more natural vibe to it and that's what I think there is here so this is like a a kind of oil slick color coating almost it's gorgeous 452 with a couple of uh, stragglers in there from another another um bag 3364 310 not very much black in this painting and 3860 so those are the colours you'll be working with if you buy this painting. Let me clear those out of the way and then it's time to look at the canvas. Okay, I'm going to fold the canvas back on itself so that I can show you it nice and flat. Ooh. You'd think I'd be better at this by now. But I am not. <laughs> So if you don't know what I'm doing, this is just a good way to quickly flatten out the canvas, which you can do with any poured glue painting without wrecking the glue. Okay. Oh my goodness. This is adorable. <laughs> I'll just show you the top or the most of it was actually in frame. Oh wow. Look at these little guys. I think they are just about the sweetest things that I will ever have diamond painted. <laughs> oh, I love it. Okay, um, I'm going to pan over this and show you everything a bit more up close and then I'll come back and talk a little bit more about the painting and give you some final thoughts.
aren't they adorable? I absolutely love them. So I would say this painting probably hits that sweet spot for me of a good mixture of confetti and colour blocking. There is a fair amount of confetti where you'll be changing out the colour in your tray quite often. So actually the chipmunks are, are quite involved, I would say. And then you've got bits of plants and, and flowers and things. I absolutely love these purple flowers. They're just such a beautiful shade. And the contrast with the more earthy tones is going to be stunning. Um, but then looking up more towards the top section in particular, it's, it's sort of small splodges of colour blocking really. Um, so if you multi-place, you'll whiz through those quite quickly. Even if you don't, they will go a bit quicker and it will just give you that balance um, and make sure that the painting isn't taking too, too long. So yeah, I think that's going to be really nice. Now, let me see if I can find where those special drills go. Um, so, just checking my sticker sheet. The codes for the ABs are one, two, three. So fairly nice and easy there. And looking for that brown AB that's a number one, first of all. Here it is through this chipmunk. Ah, oh, so he's gonna have these slightly pinky tones mixed in with the brown. Love it. Little bit on this one, but not so much, I don't think. And I don't think I see it anywhere else either. And then two is that nice green shade. And I see that down here um, and then across this bit and then quite a lot of it up in that section of, of greenery up there. And that beautiful, beautiful lilac one. I mean, it's kind of easy to work out where that's gonna be. That is of course around the flowers. So the flowers are, are gonna have a sort of almost outline of ABs that's going to make them glow really prettily. Oh, they're going to be stunning. And then the fairy dust drill. So I have got an X and an sort of an at symbol without the circle around it. Come on, focus. There you go. So the X is trickier to find these. I, uh, I find there weren't very many of that one, were there? Ah, okay. Um, they're in the centre of the flowers. I was looking around all these bits, um, but no, they're actually the centres of the flowers. So that's cool. And then the at symbol, can I find that? Oh yeah, that's all through this plant life over here. And then any more of it? There was a fair amount of that one, wasn't there? Surely there's going to be a bit more of it than that. There's some up in the greenery up in the top section there. And I can't see a huge amount more of it, actually. I thought I remember there being a bit more of it, but maybe my memory is playing up. Most likely it's just that I can't see it for looking. <laughs> That's usually what happens. So there you go. Here is Breakfast Nook. I think it is an absolutely lovely, lovely painting. It's something, there's something really kind of tranquil and sweet and calming about a really naturey picture with animals like this, isn't there? And yeah, it's, it's a stunner. What can I say? So thank you very much for watching this. Um, if you have enjoyed the video, please consider dropping a like on it. If you have not already subscribed to the channel, please consider doing that. These will be available, I say these, this painting and many others will be available on Black Friday or possibly Thursday, depending on your, um, depending on the status of your access. So Diamond members, as I said, can start checking out on Thursday in some parts of the world. Um, but yeah, the timings are available on all of the previews that Diamond Art Club are putting onto Facebook and Instagram every day as well. Thank you very much for watching and I will hopefully see you again soon. Bye bye.